Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change eye color in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on the all new redesigned Flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode's super cool, because we get to change eye color in Photoshop. And you'll see it's actually not that hard to do. And the practical applications for this um, may be a little bit on the limited side, but everyone thinks it's fun to change your eye color. I know I would, I because I have dark hair, I always wanted blue eyes. So I obviously can't do that in person. <laughs> so I've done it in Photoshop a number of times just to see how it looks. And it's something that's it's really fun to do. So we're gonna show you guys how to change this. I'm gonna sh actually take some dark eyes. I'm gonna show you how to make them lighter. And then from there, we can change the color to just about anything we want. So here's our image for today. It's from fotolia.com. Beautiful eye. And uh, we're gonna be making this a bunch of different colors. So the first thing that I wanna do when I'm gonna go ahead and change the eye color, I started out with a dark eye on purpose because I knew we were gonna get a ton of questions like, oh, I have dark eyes. I, how do I change them to blue or something like that? So we're, we're gonna kind of start with that. And the first most important thing is to make a good selection. So we're gonna create a new layer here and I'm gonna go ahead and start creating a selection around my eye. Let's just go ahead and zoom in. Now, a good way to kind of like see what your selection is actually doing, we're gonna start off with a curves adjustment layer. All right, so let's grab our adjustment layers and I'm gonna go to curves. There we go. And then just to see what I'm doing, I'm gonna click here right in the middle and brighten it up quite a bit. Okay, so this will give me a good way to actually see what I'm doing because I'll apply my selection to the layer mask. So instead of just creating a selection and then not knowing what it actually looks like, I'm gonna be altering the selection as we go along. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with our marquee tool. So we're gonna click on our elliptical marquee tool and I'm just gonna make a selection right around the eye. Now, a quick little tip, if you create a selection in the wrong place and need to move it, just hold down the spacebar key and you can actually move your selection while you're creating it. Let go of your spacebar key and you continue to make that selection, which is really cool. Because especially with the elliptical marquee tool, it's really tough to actually make the right selection, like start it in the right place every time. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna start off going a little bit smaller than the actual eye because we're gonna make a, a apply a blur to the selection because you can see the edge of the eye. It's not perfect, right? It's not perfectly sharp. So we're gonna apply a blur to that to make sure that it actually fits what's going on. Okay. So now that we have our selection, I'm just gonna click on our layer mask here and I'm gonna hit Command I and that's gonna invert the selection. So hit Command I, it's gonna invert that. Now you can see that actually made it darker. So we need to deselect by hitting Command D now. So basically, we just get rid of that underlying layer. We've got a layer mask, and then I'm gonna hit Command I again on that layer mask. And now it's really easy to see that's what's in our selection. So I can just grab my move tool, I can move this around. All right, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a blur. It needs a blur so it can actually look like it's kind of looking like it fits with the eye. So we're gonna go to filter, down here to blur, and to Gaussian blur. And I wanna choose a blur, you don't wanna go too far, you're gonna get something that's, you know, obviously not gonna work for your image. We want to choose a blur that's going to just about encompass everything we need to. Something like this. And this number is going to change for every image you do, by the way. All right, let's hit OK there. And then I can still use my move tool if I want, if it's not including everything. And in this case, I think I need to rotate my selection a little bit. So I'm going to hit Command T. And then we're just going to click right over here. And I can go ahead and rotate and move this around. Just to make sure that it's actually like affecting everywhere we want. So you can see too much outside and you can actually see it affect the eye. So this is why I like creating these selections and then altering them like on a curves adjustment layer so you can actually see what you're doing. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Let's hit that checkbox up there and we're good to go. So now that we have that selection, the big key when you're creating eyes is don't try to do everything in the same layer. You're gonna wanna create multiple layers because that's gonna help you to like create all these little effects because a lot of eyes, they're not just like straight blue or straight brown or green. They're gonna have dots and sparkles of other colors in those, okay? So what, by creating a bunch of different layers, it allows you to actually create all those details. So I'm gonna create a bunch of layers, but I want them all to be restricted to this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a group and then I'm gonna load this layer mask as the group. So any layer that I put in that group is gonna be restricted to just the eye. Okay, so to create the group, just hit Control or Command G on any layer. That's gonna make your group here. And then I already have a layer mask. I don't need to recreate this layer mask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, and I'm gonna click and drag from this layer 
my curves layer to my group layer. So you can see I've got a double layer there. And when I let go, it basically takes the same layer mask that was on the curves layer and it puts it on the group. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on our curves adjustment layer. Now I don't need the layer mask on there to be, you know, to be restricted to just the eye. So I'm gonna hit shift delete and I'm gonna fill this with white. Okay, and just to kind of show you guys how this works, if I created a new layer and I just, I'm just gonna grab my brush tool and I'm just gonna grab a color. This is obviously not part of, um, <laughs> this is not part of making a color in the eye, but just to kind of show you how this works, if I'm just in this group and I paint with a brush tool, anywhere I paint is gonna be only visible on in that area, okay, which is where the eye is. So this is just a quick example. I'm gonna create a couple different layers and they're all gonna be only visible right there. Okay, so we've got our eye a little bit brighter, which is great. Now, if you're starting off with light eyes, like if you're starting off with blue eyes or green eyes, something like that, you don't need to make your eyes any lighter. So this is a good step if you're starting out with relatively dark eyes, like the eyes that are on my head. <laughs> now, if your eyes are so dark to where you don't really get any information there, um, that's usually an issue that you need to take care of on the photography side of things. So if you're lighting someone for a portrait and they have a light just coming from the top, that's gonna make their eyes in shadow. So try adding a reflector down below and that's gonna lighten up their actual eyes and it's gonna help bring more light into the eyes which is gonna help them shine a little bit brighter. Okay, so now that we have our change, there we go, we've changed to a little bit brighter, I'm gonna grab another layer and we're gonna start working on color. So we're, we're gonna grab a hue saturation adjustment layer. So go up to hue saturation and now I wanna take my hue slider and I'm gonna start moving this around. And you can see here, you can really just change your eye color to whatever you want. And again, I don't have to worry about my layer mask because we're in the group that has our layer mask already defined. All right, so we're just gonna go to the left. Now you can use purple eyes or red eyes or whatever like that. You can use the same exact uh, technique to create cool special effects, but I'm gonna create something that's a little bit more on the realistic side. Now, if you are gonna be creating something like a blue eye or a green eye, make sure to desaturate that a little bit. You generally don't have eyes that are, you know, like something like that. That's just never going to look real. So bring the saturation down a little bit and that's gonna help look a little bit more real. There we go. So that's that nice blue in there that we're looking for. Okay, now you'll notice a couple things on this. Let me just go ahead and zoom in. These two layers are affecting the middle of the eye here, right? Because that has not been changed on my layer mask here, right? This layer mask still includes those areas. So we're just gonna go in here and refine this layer mask a little bit better so it just includes the areas that we actually want. So let's click on this layer mask and then just with a brush tool, I'm gonna paint black right here in the very center of the eye because we don't wanna affect this. That's gonna make that area look uh, really fake and we don't wanna affect the light that's there as well. And then it was covering up a little bit over the eyelashes and we don't want it to affect that as well, right? Okay, so that's looking a lot better. Now, if you still need to include some area around the edges, just try grabbing a brush tool and there on your layer mask, you can actually paint white on your layer mask and that's just gonna make your selection grow a little bit more. There we go. And it's just gonna make the effect a little bit more believable. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, for this, I would recommend looking at a lot of reference pictures for eyes. So if you wanna make blue eyes, like go to Google, type in an image search and type in blue eyes and actually look at a bunch of different blue eyes to kind of see what they look like. And one thing that I was noticing with blue eyes is they tend to get, they tend to get darker around the edges. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a curves adjustment layer now. All right, and we're gonna click here in the middle and I'm just gonna drag this down a little bit. There we go, making it darker. We're gonna hit command I on that layer to invert our layer mask. And then with a very soft brush, I'm just gonna paint white on my layer mask here around the edges. And what this is doing is just gonna make the edges just a little bit darker. You can see that's kind of how that works. And again, I'm not worried. You can see this layer mask, if I hold Alt or Option, this layer mask is really messy, okay? I'm not worried about trying to stay just inside the eye because this layer, the group mask, is taking care of that for me, okay? Now we've got our eyes, they're looking blue, they look cool, but they're not done yet because I wanna add a little bit more definition to these. I wanna add a little bit more style. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab another curves adjustment layer. Okay, and here's where we're gonna add some detail. So I'm gonna go to my blue channel now and we're gonna click here in the middle and we're gonna pull this down. So that's like less blue is more yellow. Yellow and blue are opposite. So if I click here and pull this up, we're gonna have more blue, this is gonna be less blue. All right, that's a little too much on the green side, so I'm gonna click on the green 
and we're going to pull this down again. All right, our RGB, which is just like grayscale, it's, I'm going to pull that up a little bit, and then our red, we can kind of pull this up a little bit too. And this is totally just an area to play around. We're going to do a couple different variations, so you can see this is the time to kind of play around. Okay, so now that we have this other color, because I was noticing, I did it, again, I did a Google search, and I saw that a lot of blue eyes had a little bit of yellow, especially right around the middle. So we're going to hit Command-I on this layer mask to invert it as well, and then I'm going to paint this white on the layer mask here just right around the middle. And again, I've just got a soft edge brush here, and we're just kind of painting this in as a different type of effect. So let's just zoom out and take a look at the eye. All right, so you can see like that little effect really does change a lot, and it makes it a lot more believable. So there's our before and our after, changing it to blue. Now, I'm gonna do another variation because I want you to show you guys there is tons of variation you can do with this. So let's just duplicate this entire group. I'm gonna click on this group. We're gonna duplicate that entire group. Again, we gotta make this one invisible, right? This is our original hue saturation that changed us blue, right? So this one, we're gonna double click on there, and maybe this time I wanna go more towards the green scale, okay? So we're gonna go towards green. There we go. Let's bring our saturation down even more. All right, darken up the edges, looks good to me. And then this guy, this curves adjustment layer, you can again, change this however you want. So if you wanted it to be more blue towards the center, you'd get something that, you know, maybe didn't look that real. <laughs> um, there we go, like a little bit more of a brown that tends to look a little bit more real. All right, there we go. And you know what, I'm gonna go back in here and change this color again for that green because it's a little too much on the saturated side. I think something right about there it's gonna look a little bit more real for that. All right, so now that we've kind of created our base work, we've got really quickly, we've gone from the blue to the green, and we're gonna do one more. We're just gonna duplicate this, and we're gonna create a little bit more of like a special effects, like a fantasy type of style. All right, we're gonna go to our hue saturation again, and this time we're gonna crank up our saturation, and let's go, you know what, let's try this yellow. I think that'll be really cool. Let's darken up the edges again, and then here, ooh, that's actually pretty cool already. All right, or let's double click here. And you can see, it's just kind of fun. You can totally change these colors around to where really whatever you want. Let's go red. Um, let's see what we're doing with our green channel. Yeah, let's pull that down. This is gonna be cool. All right, let's go to our blue channel and play around putting more blue. You know what? Yeah, I like that with the less blue in it. All right, and I wanna do one more thing with this, with these eyes. We're going to create another layer in here and again, we're just playing around, guys. Uh, we already showed you how to do the realistic. This is just like um, Aaron fun time. All right. Now I'm going to click here in the curves, and then we're going to go right up there. And you can see this group layer mask keeps it just in the eye, which is really, really helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and invert that layer mask by hitting Command-I. And now I'm going to make a hard edge brush, and we're going to make this really small. And I'm just going to paint like little white kind of like flecks in here. Okay. Nothing, you know, too, there we go. Nothing too uniform. I kind of want to be a little bit sporadic when I do this. All right. That looks cool. Now let's go ahead and blur those a little bit so it doesn't look like just a pen stroke. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Okay. Just a little bit of blur is going to help it look like they're actually part of that eye. And then here I can go and I can make that brighter. Let's zoom out so we can see what I'm actually working with here. I can make that brighter. If I wanted to add a little bit more red to those areas, I could do that. Take away a little bit of the red, I could do that. Let's add some, some green. You know what, it would look kinda cool with that magenta in there. All right, so again, I'm doing this a little bit for like a special effects, but if you guys wanted to do, you could darken that out. Oh, that actually looks kinda cool dark. I'm gonna keep that a little bit on the dark side, but then I'm gonna go on my layer mask and we're gonna change this out a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic. So we're just gonna change it out, focus this here on the middle. There we go, and then let's put a little bit more of a blur. All right, there we go. That's kinda cool. I didn't even know I was gonna wind up doing that. It's just a... <laughs> if that was not a completely obvious already. Um, <laughs> I had no idea what this last one was going to look like when I started this tutorial. 
<laughs> but I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom out so we, we can see our eyes. So let's see, we've got our standard issue brown eye to start with. We've changed it to a nice blue. We've got a green in there that looks realistic. And then we've got kind of a little bit more of a crazy eye as well. And that's how you change eye color in Photoshop and keep it realistic. Thanks so much for watching today's episode, guys. Remember, the key thing here is to create a selection where the eye is and then load that as a mask on the group. That way you can create a bunch of different layers inside that group and they're all gonna be restricted to the eye. If you like what we're doing here at Flurm, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can receive free videos teaching Photoshop and photography every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode, please leave it in a comment down below or any questions about today's episode as well. We'd love to help out. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. All right, get in here. Kiernan's wearing her cool shorts today. <laughs> comment on how great they are. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. It's a... Wow. Be sure to share friends. Share share friends with your flirn. Share the share flirn with your friends. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs>